you could just put this on the lathe and try and turn that. How about that? <laughs> So I thought today we would play around with some Christmas balls. So these are my leftover ball balls from my Christmas tree. And I looked at them and I thought to myself, we could make something really cool with these. <laughs> I've no idea what. Whether or not we keep these whole or smash them up into bits. Either way, I can see this one looking pretty funky. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> now these do look pretty awesome, don't they? I haven't made a project. Project? I haven't made a project with ball balls before. Um, lots of different colours. They're made out of some kind of plasticky stuff, but not very fragile. Because look, they actually bounce. So they actually bounce really well. So I don't know whether or not they're actually gonna break up well or not. I'm wondering whether or not we should cast them in resin like this, or whether or not we should smash them up. I don't know if you can see my face in there. Right, I think first up, I'm gonna pour some resin in this just to get it to set. So I've had a thought. <laughs> That's scary. This isn't gonna work, really. Now look. <laughs> we could just put this on the lathe and try and turn that. How about that? Uh, no. I'm just thinking that the resin, if I put the resin in, it's gonna get all in the, the holes, like half in the holes, half not in the holes. That's not gonna work. So I think we're gonna have to kind of smash these up. Yep, a Hulk smash. Yeah. Okay, I'm not keen on this idea either. <laughs> I didn't realize, but inside the ball balls, well, they're just not so colorful. <laughs> So that's not gonna work either. Oh. Plan C. So now I'm going to try and do something that I haven't tried before, and that is to conserve some resin and waste. So the idea is that... We're going to use this bowl inside the other bowl. <laughs> now the only problem that this poses is if we want to mount it on the lathe which we probably do. Um, but, I don't know, we'll come across that issue when we get there.
Right, the first pour is in, but it hasn't got very far. Bit of a shame. And the problem we've got, actually, with this is... It won't fit in the pressure pot. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Now what? I thought it was going to fit in there, but it's not. Oh. So we're going to have to kind of hope that we don't get many bubbles. I mean, we might uh, get bubbles, but... Dad, you like bubbles, don't you, Dad? Yeah. We possibly could get bubbles anyway because the resin's going to get inside here in the holes. I don't know. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to kind of sort of set overnight and then I'll do another pour. You shouldn't see where I've kind of done it from. So, um, because I'm using the fast hardener, you see, and I don't want to put too much in it because it could react if you use too much. That's why you've got the slow entropy resins hardener for. But... I don't have the time to use the slow one because <laughs> it takes a little while longer to set. So I'm going to have to kind of like do one tonight, do another pour tomorrow, and hopefully we can get this finished for this Friday for you. Hopefully I'll have a video for you sometime soon. Am I dreaming? Just had a really crazy, weird thought. Bear with me. Right, <laughs> this has been left overnight. Um, I don't know, bear with me on this. I'm not really too sure. I've got to try and release this bowl without it breaking, and I just don't know. Ooh. It's really, really, really delicate. And I don't want to ruin it. Because I've got an idea. Basically, I've got an idea. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. That might be cool. But it might not be. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But it's whether or not it works. Oh! Is pretty awesome if I say so myself. Right now, <laughs> it's whether or not we can get this kind of out of here without breaking it, and that's another challenge. That is so cool, actually, isn't it? Right, right, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work because. I can't really grab it without it really sort of falling apart. Mm. Two thousand years later. Oh, 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 it comes, it comes. Got a few little issues, but look at that. <laughs> right, we just need to fix these little holes, but that's easy. Here's some resin I prepared earlier. gonna look pretty crazy looking.
is why you need a good mask. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so after all that, that's split as well. Obviously, this wood is just not cut out for it. So, um, okay, I'm going to make up another one quick. Right, there we go. <laughs> that's all I wanted, really, was just a bit of a disc. Uh, you folks just no idea where this is going yet, do you? <laughs> You're like, Nick, what are you doing? What is this big, huge, funky thing looking? We're getting closer to the end. <laughs> You're still none the wiser. Mind you. Neither am I. Applying the Yorkshire grit, you've got to make sure you get it all over. I mean, everywhere. Now, when I mean all over, I mean all over. Yorkshire grit, it's not just for wood turners. I really didn't know where we were going with this one. Um, I know I probably kept you in suspense for quite a while, <laughs> but we got there in the end. I kind of wanted to do something different. Obviously, initially with the balls, I kind of was thinking, yeah, put it on the lathe, make it into a really cool bowl. Kind of one side of me thought to myself, I don't want to make another bowl with loads of colorful stuff in it. I do, but I didn't. And then I thought, well, the resin's not gonna go in all the holes, so that's not gonna work, and it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. So, um, I was only halfway through making this and putting this in here, and obviously that worked out pretty well, that kind of way of saving the resin. Um, never done that before. So that's a good way that you can save some resin. <laughs> so it kind of changed from being a bowl to kind of like, uh, it was gonna be like a lampshade, and then an ornament, and then, I don't know, a light but not a bad looking light I think got my little emblem in there I mean look at that it's pretty cool it's all solid I mean you know obviously if you took a hammer to it you'd smash it but then but you'd smash most things with a hammer but I mean it's pretty solid you know it's not going anywhere it's stuck on there with resin I've glued that down as well so um, little pads on the back for you know keeping it nice and smooth on your surface to stop it scratching your surface is what I mean. So <laughs> there we go. That is Christmassy, right? That is that is pretty Christmassy and colourful, which is the way we like it. Please, if you could help me and this channel by sharing this video, it is Christmas season. It's a time to be jolly. Um, if you could give me a like and if you could share the video with your friends and family uh, on social media and stuff like that, that would be a massive help to me over Christmas. I'd love to get everyone to see this uh, weird arty Christmas creation. I hope that you do like it and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, for those of you wondering, no, that wasn't Yorkshire grit on my face earlier. <laughs> it kind of looked like it though, didn't it? It was a bit of a concoction of um, 
face cream and coffee. But no, don't put Yorkshire grit on your face. So happy Christmas. I know we're not kind of there yet, but we're almost there. Um, I'll try and think of another Christmassy sort of project to do as well before Christmas hits um, and hopefully get a couple of other videos up for you as well. Please check me out on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on there when I hit 50,000 uh, subscribers or followers. Um, I'm almost there, sort of 5,000 away I think. Um, but thanks to all of you that have come over to support me on Instagram. If I can get a few more of you over there to follow me, that would be amazing. And we'll do a cheeky little giveaway when I hit 50,000. I also want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreons that are supporting me right now. Uh, have been some of you for a long time, so thank you so much. I'm always there to reply to messages and things like that, so uh, that's one way that you can get hold of me uh, 100%. If you message me on Patreon, uh, I'll always reply. I am thinking about doing some live streams as well soon. I'm not too sure. I've never really done anything live before, and I don't know if I can do that on Patreon or not. I don't know, but obviously, if you fancy supporting me or if you'd like to support me on Patreon, then that would be really helpful uh, as well and keep me doing what I love doing for me and for you. Please check out all the links below. I've li listed all the things that I've used in uh, the project today, including the safety kind of gear, the Yorkshire grit, the resin, and some other little goodies in there, which I think you might be interested in. Also, don't forget Maker Central is hopefully on next year. So if you fancy coming and meeting me, along with a load of other people, please grab yourself a ticket. If for any reason we do have to postpone the show, your ticket is 100% valid if we move it a couple of months, but who knows? We're hoping not to, but you never know at the moment with what's going on. But don't worry, your ticket and stands are 100% safe. We will be doing this show the moment we can. And also check out Make Central members. Loads of discounts on there for you folks. And we're doing loads of free stuff as well. Check it out. Well, I'll stop waffling because that's what I do. <laughs> Hope you like this one, folks. I'll leave pictures up at the end. Please, again, if you could share the video, that would be massive help to me. Have a great Christmas, although I'm going to see you way before Christmas, but I just thought of getting early, you know, because I love Christmas. Take care, folks. Have a great one, and I'll see you really soon.